So the so zanadatumab is actually also a bispecific antibody, but it is a subclass of bispecific antibodies called paratropic, meaning that each arm binds to the same antigen. In, in this case, uh, each arm binds to a different epitope on the HER2 molecule. So uh, in this particular study, zanadatumab was combined with various chemotherapy combinations, fluoropamidine platinum doublets such as Fulfox or capecitabine cisplatin. And this actually was updated data that, uh, from data that I had previously presented, which now covers uh, survival data. So once again, we see a very high response rate. Response rates are nearly 80%, with a disease control rate exceeding 90%. Uh, what's particularly remarkable is that the duration of response uh, ex exceeds 20 months. Uh, at this point, medium progression-free survival is about 12 months, and median overall survival actually has not been reached. And that certainly is consistent with you know, the experience of patients who were treated at Memorial Sloan Kettering. We actually have patients who have been on treatment for about three years now. Um, overall, the combination was also generally well tolerated, although it's been, become clear that diarrhea is a major toxicity of zanadatumab. Uh, there are strategies in place to mitigate against diarrhea, uh, specifically the, the use of prophylactic um, loperamide in all patients. Uh, and again, these results actually have paved the way for an ongoing phase three study, um, which hopefully will complete accrual uh, at the end of this year or early next year.